section the reason why i'm doing this video is because if you are an african who has naturalized to german citizenship i want you to go and vote welcome back to the phoebe way guys if this is your first time on this channel my name is phoebe and i love talking about life in germany it is my passion <laughs> because i've been in germany since the year 2004 and i've been through a lot of things and one thing that i have realized is hard for foreigners in germany is the bureaucracy in germany Today's topic is the EU parliamentarial elections and the European Union, if you are in Germany, whatever concerns the European Union concerns you. And if you're eligible to vote, I'm going to put the requirement of eligibility for voters right here. So you are 16 years, you are German or European or you are a citizen of an European um, EU nation. Let me put it that way, citizen of an EU nation. So you are Italian, you are Dutch you know, and you've been in Germany for at least three months, you can vote in Germany. So probably by this time, you've already received your Wahlunterlagen, as in your the documents for you to vote. So you've received your slip and everything. The reason why I'm doing this video is because if you are an African who has naturalized to German citizenship, I want you to go and vote. Okay, if you have received it, I want you to go and vote. And one or two people have asked me who to vote for or um, how, do, what, how to even go about it. I can't tell you who to vote for, but I'm going to introduce the parties to you. So in the EU Parliament, we also have the parties like from the various countries that have come together to form their parties according to their ideologies and what they think society should be and how democracy should be done and all of that. So they have their own groups. But I'm going to tell you the German parties and what they stand for. And I'm going to dwell on how they want to deal with foreigners or foreign politics. Well, if you want to know about which parties are there, even before I, I start with this video, I'm going to put um, the link in the description box. I'm going to even write it here. So you go and look at which parties are standing for um, in, the, in the election and then also what they stand for and everything. You can You can check that out, but I'm also going to tell you which parties are standing in this election or for these elections and what they stand for, especially when it comes to foreigners in the EU and Germany. So there are some parties that are like, we want more skilled workers, we want regulated migration and all of that. So I'm going to tell you that in a bit. But before we get into the parties, I want you to know that according to Article 38 of the German Basic Law, the mean the German constitution, these elections or anybody who is voting should know that your votes count the same as everybody else's votes. So we have the same um, value. Each vote has the same value. And you have to know that the vote is one that is free. Oh, actually, let me open it up somewhere. I think it's this one. Open it together and check it out. So Article 30, 38 says this and i'm going to put it on the screen as well so you see what we're going to talk about it says this the abgeordneten des deutschen bundestages werden in allgemeine unmittelbare freier gleicher und geheimer wahl gewählt so this is talking about the german parliamentarians but this system or this principle applies to all elections in germany as well so allgemein meaning everybody who is eligible can have access and vote on metal bar you are not voting for middlemen to vote for you but what your vote has direct success or direct value in the election process Frei meaning that nobody is going to force you to vote for who you don't want to vote for you you make the choice in this election gleich so it's it's counts the same each vote carries the same weight and geheimer that's why the reason why frei means i cannot tell you who to vote for i cannot dictate to you who to vote for geheim also means that whoever i vote for is up to me i'm not going to tell you who i vote for you also shouldn't tell who you vote for that's why when you go you can prepare your your slips at home and then you go into the cabinet and just you know cast your votes quietly peacefully but on the 9th of june 2024 
That is the day that the elections are going to take place on the 9th of June, 2024. By this time, it's probably too late for you to do the pre-file to post your, your vote, but you can actually go and do it in your, usually they, they vote at schools, go and vote, I beg you. There are over 40 parties that are sending their candidates to become MEPs, meaning members of the European Parliament. Now, the main five are the ones that you saw earlier in the picture. So the SPD, CDU, CSU, the Greens, the left being the Linke, and we have, I believe I've said everything right, and the Greens, yes. So let me show you the manifestos or part of the manifestos of the following parties. In summary, the SPD wants a solidly united asylum process for all the EU, and they also want to make sure that there is more legal migration for skilled workers and for minors who are traveling without their parents, that they, all should, be, should, they should be more protected. This is in random order. Let's go to the left party. The left party, they are for freedom and they are saying that they want to make sure that the hindrances for workers or skilled workers coming into Europe should be simplified. And that is what they stand for. Now, the CDU, they want to apply human principles and also use like an organized structure to limits migration so this is what they are saying they want to make sure that the borders are strong they want to make sure that the is the th third state like this this it should be declared as secure and it should be consequence and it should pull through with that so asylum with cdu is going to be more strict and they also want skilled workers mainly So with the Green Party, I couldn't find exactly what they stand for when it comes to foreigners, but they are more for climate, like the protection of the environment and for fairness and freedom for all citizens and also to have all citizens have equal support from the government. And that is what they stand for. If you don't know which one to vote for, go for the valomats.de and choose your party according to the principles that you want to go by in life, like how the policy should be done in the EU. Also, one mistake you shouldn't make is do more than set your mark, okay? So whoever you want to vote for, it's, if it's a cross or a check, you just check and that is it. Don't add a smiley, don't add God bless you, don't add I love you, feel glück, feel a fog, don't write anything. Because if you do that, you disqualify your vote. So please, make sure you just do that X or that cross to show that this is the person you're voting for. Don't do anything more than that. Yeah? Good. Another thing is it's not just the EU um, parliamentarial elections that are going on. Currently in different um, regions in Germany or in different states, federal states, we have the communal val, so the local government elections as well. That one is a bit complicated. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, writing an article on the blog, thephibiway.de. So check that out on www.thephibiway.de and go check that out as well. Because I want to show you guys how to go about it. I might open it and show you how to do your vote so that your vote does not get what disqualified. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.